Today I want to talk about zebra danio tank mates. What kind of fish can you keep with your zebra danios? Uh, welcome to my humble abode. This is my household. Well, actually it's a house that I bought and the idea of turning it into a fish store as I live here. That's pretty crazy, huh? I know, I'm living here as I try to turn this house into a fish store. But anyways, guys, back to topic. Um, if you have any further questions, please make sure to subscribe to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, and give this video a like because all these videos I do and everything, all the ad revenue, it all goes to building my dream of starting a fish store. Okay, 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 let's talk about Zebra Daniel tank mates. This is kind of a topic a lot of people talk about. Zebra Daniels are one of my favorite fish because you can keep them in cold water tanks, you know. I adore tanks that I don't have to heat just because, you know, as I fill this house full of fish tanks, my electric bill is absurd. And it adds up, you know, like if you have a bigger tank, though that wattage in your heaters really adds up on your electric bill. A lot of people don't talk about it. But anyways, guys, Zebra Daniels, you don't have to heat the tank, which I adore. And these things, you know, like they're super underrated fish. And you got the long tail variants and you have the short tail variants. Um, let's grab some food just because I really want to showcase how beautiful these fish actually can be. You know, aside my tanks just being absolutely magnificently beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's feed some extreme. It's not the best food, but it's decent. And uh, yeah, so uh, guys, check out this tank down here. It says 20 gallon long. The, the plants are doing super well in here. I love this tank. Um, this is kind of like my nano rack build. I kind of just been getting obsessed with. All right. So zebra Daniel tank mates. I've done a lot of, uh, I've, I've done a lot of rambling. I'm going to get to the point here. Uh, to be honest with you, the reason I'm kind of rambling is because finding tank mates and other fish to keep with zebra Daniels is maybe like the easiest thing in the world, just because this is a, this is a community fish. It is not aggressive whatsoever. And in my opinion, you can keep these things with almost any community fish around, you know, like similar size. Um, you know, we're talking platies, guppies, grommies, uh, any of the like the otosynclus, smaller catfish you can think of, bristlenose catfish. These things, for the most part, are, are just super docile and super easy mannered. They are the, I mean... Here's the thing with Daniels. In general, they like never stop moving and you would think maybe they'd be aggressive and maybe they'd be fin nippers, you know. Uh, I know people that are keeping them with female betas, even male betas. And, uh, you know, I did some research on this topic before just kind of giving my personal experience because I like to see what other people I have to say as well. Some people say that these things, uh, zebra Daniels are fin nippers and you got to be careful keeping them with like long fin guppies, long fin guppies uh betas which i don't i feel like nobody's keeping them with betas maybe female betas as far as tank size you know obviously the more real estate or like the more aquarium space you have probably the more tank mates you can have and realistically zebra daniels are a community style fish and that means you're going to keep them in a community style tank i would i would highly advise keeping them in a heavily planted tank because let's be honest any fish loves planted tanks like the planted tanks are just best all around just because the plants are feeding on the waste that the fish give off. And it's just an all around just perfect ecosystem, if that makes any sense. So, um, you know, in planted tanks, I have a lot of videos on them being just a lot easier than a lot of people think they are. I have uh, videos on like setting up dirt tanks. A lot of my tanks actually are soil tanks. I get that question all the time. What I do is I use organic potting soil on the bottom of the tank. I make sure that it's completely wet. I squeeze out all the air out of it, um, and then I cap it with sand. I have a bunch of videos on this on my main channel if you're interested. So a little side topic, I absolutely love these small little algae scrapers, man. I got these on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description box. I forget the name of them. I think it's like Kenzami or Kenzumi. Um, these things work great. They're super cheap. I'm trying to keep them on every single tank. And, you know, you think it wouldn't be a big deal. But as soon as you start keeping these, like I am on all my tanks. I'm trying to like have them on all the tanks. That way I never have to get in there and clean the glass. It just, it makes a huge difference when it comes to maintenance, especially when you have like a buttload of tanks like I do. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love them. So a little, uh, prod, a uh, little product, uh, sh what do you call it? Placement, product placement. I'm not a sellout. I promise. I just, uh, uh, I talk about the stuff that I actually like. So the other tanks here are doing absolutely amazing. Look at that malt. Look at that platy just popping coloration. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the Amazon Swords 
need to be trimmed back a little bit, but everything looks pretty good in all these planted tanks, the zebra daniels. These things have been breeding in here. Usually you got to put a mop in there to breed them, but literally I'm doing nothing in this tank and that's what happens when you keep planted tanks. The fish breed like crazy. Um, I haven't done a water change on this tank in probably four months, like literally, and I just did a test on it. It's like 20 parts per million nitrates, but that's perfect for plants because they love feeding on that stuff. So as you can see though guys i'm keeping these with other you know my tank mates in this tank for my zebra danios are other danios and i have a couple little small rasboras in here i think so literally as i was saying you can keep them with platies guppies uh garamis anything that's not territorial or aggressive whatsoever here's my shrimp tank i'm working on breeding up some cherries you have the cholo wood in there. They're kind of just chewing on. The shrimp absolutely love like the growth that grows on the soft woods like this. The cholo wood is a softer wood. And the shrimp absolutely adore it. I've been using the word adore a lot. That's kind of weird. Look at this fat mama. Is that a mama? I don't know. Is it egg bound? It's tough to tell. So uh, the guppy grass is doing well. I like I shovel out like handfuls of this thing like every week. I've kind of learned to hate guppy grass now, if I'm not joking, because it just grows so fast. I mean, it's great in the right circumstance, but uh, you know, some of these like easier plants, you know, like as you get more and more tanks and you gotta do more maintenance on them, the slower growing plants sometimes are better, just because I have to get in there less. And the name of the game when I get a lot of tanks is. What can I maintenance the least? And that is uh, slower growing plants and just planted tanks in general because the maintenance is just so minimal. But yeah, guys, wrapping this up, please hit up the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. Please, please, please. I want to know what tank size you have, what your plans are for your tank. Are your zebra daniels in a planted tank? Do you not? Are you not good at plants? I want to hear from you. Please, in the comments, give this video a like. Um, just let me know uh, if you're having any success with keeping zebra daniels with certain fish. I want to hear about it. I'm keeping them with other Daniels. I'm I'm tossing around the idea of keeping them with some guppies, possibly. So, yeah, without further ado, please subscribe and give this video a like. Please, please, I'm begging you. For the love of God, my kids are hungry. I need food. No, I'm kidding. Uh, all right, guys, rock on.